this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your mobile application a little bit by uh, changing uh, navigation bar, background color, navigation um, title, and um, navigation uh, bar back button and item button. Um, because normally when uh, your mobile app starts up, it's, it has default theme and you might want to change, for example, navigation bar background image. So uh, how do we do this? And um, probably the very first place where you want to start customizing your mobile application is uh, when it starts up. And in your app delegate, you have um, this function called did finish launching with options. Uh, and this will be the very first function that, that, um, will, um, that you might want to work with. So uh, let's go ahead and start um, customizing our uh, default uh, app that I'm working with. And um, uh, I have prepared some code to make this um, video tutorial smooth and quick. Uh, so the very first uh, example that I want to show you is to how to set navigation bar, tint uh, or background color. So now it's, um, it was light gray and I'm going to set it to green. And uh, the... Um, the line of code basically says that I'm working with appearance of my mobile application and the changes that I'm going to do are going to be uh, applied to entire mobile app globally to every single view control that I have. Uh, in this example, I have only one, but if I had two and three, uh, it will be applied to all of them. So what I, what I do here is I, I access the UI navigation bar and then I access a call for appearance and then uh, I want to change bar tint color and then I use UI color green color so let's um, run this now and it we will see that it will change to a green and if I want uh, a different color something like for example a red I start it again and it will be red Okay, so this is how you change your uh, mobile app navigation bar background color. Uh, the next line of code that I want uh, to explain to you uh, allows us to change the bar uh, text title. So now we have title text here. And um, the way I set this title is basically uh, in my view controller, I call for self navigation item title. And um, the way you change it is you work with title text attributes and uh, again i go to um, ui navigation bar and then i uh, call for appearance uh, and then i access title text attributes and i set the foreground color attribute name to white color so if i run this now my black uh, text of navigation uh, title will turn to white, pretty nice. And uh, if I add uh, if I add another view controller, for example, it will also be applied to that one as well. So let me, for example, create a new one. I'll set it to four inch. And I will create a sweep file for this view controller. I'll call it next view controller. Right. And I will associate this view controller with my next view controller. And now for me uh, to go from one view controller to another, I need a button. All right, and when this button is stopped, I want to go to next view controller. Okay, now if I run this, I have my first view controller with a navigation uh, bar title in white, and then I go next, and the background color is white, I don't have title, 
So let me quickly set it um, and view did load self navigation item title equals next view. Quickly run it. Uh, title text is in white. Continue. Next view is also uh, in white. So, um, as I've mentioned before, this um, the appearance that you set for your navigation bar is applied to your entire mobile application unless you overwrite it somewhere in your other views. So let's go ahead and um, talk about uh, tint color, navigation bar, a bar, uh, the item button. Sometimes you want uh, to add item buttons to your navigation bar and I will add one right now, item bar, this one. So I will, I will rename this to next. Next. So I have this item button and I will um, maybe uh, it's now custom. I'll call it um, like something done. Okay. So uh, what if I want this uh, button to be of a different color than its original or default color? I can do it with UR bar button item appearance tint color and I can set it to something else. Now our background color is now red. So this one um, is a red as well. So let me call it, um, like, let me set it to orange. And run it. Or orange on red doesn't really look good, but yeah, it doesn't really look good. So I can set it to something um, more maybe a yellow and run it yeah now it's better yellow okay so we now know how to change uh, navigation bar background color title color and the uh, item button uh, what if we need to set a uh, background image uh, background image I do have a uh, uh, a little example I found on the internet. It's a background image that I dragged and dropped into my uh, project. And um, the way I set background image is basically I create an, a UI image, the, the regular way we do it in Swift, UI image named, and then it's provide name of the image. And then I use navigation, UI navigation bar, appearance, set background image, to the image I've created. And for the bar metrics, I use just default. So now if I run this example, my uh, background uh, color of navigation bar will no longer be red, but it will change to that uh, background image that I have set. And if I continue to my next view, it will also be uh, set to a background image on next view and any other views uh, that I will connect uh, the background image will also be applied. Okay, so um, what else um, do I have? Uh, navigation bar back button. So we see this back the back button with the uh, title text here uh, is blue and it doesn't really look good on this uh, background image. So I can change it from my um, UI from my app delegate as well. And the way I do it, I go to um, UI navigation bar, I go for appearance again, and I change the tint color. Tint color, and I can set it to orange, or I can set it to any other color, like for example, white color. And if I stop it and run, my title is in white, so the white color will be actually good for um, in this case. So now uh, title, the back button, tint color is also white, which is, which is good. Now, some of these appearance settings, uh, they can be customized in your other views. For example, your first um, navigation um, view controller, this uh, can have um, a navigation bar background color of one color and another navigation and another view navigation bar 
uh, can have a background color, uh, a different one. I don't know why you would need this, but it, it's uh, possible. So for example, in my um, app delegate did finish launching with option, I set uh, this global appearance settings. I set background color and I set um, background image. So let me comment out background image for a moment. And if I run this application now, the uh, background color of our navigation bar should be red. Yes, but uh, when mobile app starts, my uh, initial view controller here is uh, actually this one, it's called view controller. So if I open it in, um, um, if I open it in um, assistant editor here, I can set the uh, navigation bar tint color uh, to a different one. So now it's red and I can set it to yellow. Uh, and please note that um, you want to do it in your view will appear function. Um, uh, for some reason, I don't have view will appear, super view will appear, animated. Yeah, um, you want to do it in view will appear. So let me run this example and uh, I'll show you what how it works. So in, in our app delegate, we set it to red. Uh, we set the background color of navigation bar to red, but in our initial view controller, we, we override it and we set it to yellow. So I run it now, and it should be yellow. But uh, our next um, view controller will automatically be set to yellow, but I can override it again, and for example, I will uh, copy this view of you will appear and in my next view controller because I don't have view will appear created so I'll quickly copy this and I'll change the title to next oh I do have title already next view yeah so this one I will set it let's say to blue So now in um, our app delegate, it is created, it is set the um, UI bar background color is set, I'm, I'm sorry, the navigation bar background color is set to red. In our initial view uh, control, it is overridden to yellow, but when we go to our next view controller, it should be set to blue. So if I stop it and run it again, Okay, so uh, now I have set it to yellow, and if I continue, it is set to blue. And if I go back, it is set to yellow again. If I go in uh, to the next view, it is set to blue again. And uh, some other settings, uh, appearance settings, we can also override. For example, we've just overridden um, the um, background color of navigation bar. I can also uh, override the uh, title text and set it to something else, for example, um, black color. And, um, and I can also set a an, an, uh, background image again, but I won't, I won't do it. So let me um, run this example now. So we have title text is set to black on uh, yellow background. If I continue, it's black again. So let me set the title text uh, color to something else on the blue background. I'll copy our title text um, attributes and in our next view controller I'll set it so background color is blue I will set the title to some to a white color and um, the way again we set it is we access navigation uh, controller navigation bar title text attributes and then we use an S foreground color attribute name and we set it to white color. Run it. Okay, so we have black on yellow and when I tap on next, it's white on blue. When I go back and again black on yellow. Okay, so um, 
I guess this is it. Uh, just to summarize what we've learned, we can um, now customize our UI navigation bar. Uh, application wide, we can set uh, the background color to a different than uh, its default. And we can set the bar title color to something else. And if we have an item, um, the item button on our navigation bar, we can also set it um, to uh, a different tint color and we know how to set background image to um, uh, any image that we will drag and drop into our mobile app um, for navigation bar. I have um, uncommented the navigation bar background image again. If I run it, it is back and it has a, a higher importance than the background color. Okay, this is it for this example. I hope it um, works and if for some reason it doesn't work, guys, uh, please um, comment below this video and the this uh, source code, uh, little source code that I have, I will publish on my uh, Swift Developer blog, um, blog post, so you can uh, copy it and use uh, in your project. Uh, thank you very much.